When Giuseppe Borghi drives up, his donkeys are already waiting for him. His donkey farm is a childhood dream come true. I was a locksmith for 40 years. Then I started this donkey farm. Luckily, my son has inherited my passion. We now have 800 donkeys. The two stallions greet each other. Italy has several breeds of donkey each bred for a particular purpose. Montebaduco is one of the few places where this tradition is carried on. The farm is located in the region of Emilia, in the hills of the Apennines. You can also stay here overnight and eat very well. It started in my childhood. I was a farmer's son, and we lived on an isolated farm. The donkey brought the milk to the dairy, and on the way back he carried water and food. We had no real road, and the donkey was the only means of transportation. But most of all, he was my friend, because donkeys are very loving and affectionate. Giuseppe Borghi loves his donkeys, especially Dante, his first one. Want to give me no kiss today? Donkeys have lived alongside humans for thousands of years. Actually, they are desert animals from Africa, which is reflected in their simple needs. They require little food and water. From Africa, the domesticated donkey spread around the Mediterranean. Here in Cyprus, for example, the donkey has been an indispensable working animal for thousands of years and has made an important contribution to the island's prosperity. Today, people have left the villages and the donkeys have disappeared. In Greece, 96% of the donkey population has gone in the last 50 years, and in Cyprus too, the decline has been dramatic. Donkeys are well suited to being working animals, but their peaceful, tolerant character has also been fatal for them. Donkeys endure excessive burdens and improper treatment to the point of exhaustion. Nostalgia for a time shown in traditional pictures from the past is therefore misplaced. Donkeys that are no longer needed or whose owners have died find refuge in the donkey sanctuary. This English organization operates sanctuaries around the world, funded by sponsorships and donations. For just 20 euros a year, you can become a sponsor. The center is open to visitors. And here we look after approximately 116 donkeys. Most of these donkeys are old, unwanted, or sick. And they can basically come here to retire, and we try to help them as much as possible with treatments and looking after their care and welfare. This donkey has certainly carried more than the permitted 20% of its own weight. The traces of its working life are clearly visible. Twice a week, the vet pays a visit. Particularly, the hooves are a repeated source of concern. They have to be cut every six weeks and shaped so that the donkeys can stand normally and walk. Here you can clearly see that Chloe's right hind leg hasn't grown as it should have. The red spray is a disinfectant. Chloe is quite unruly, so she gets a sedative before her hind leg is treated. Nevertheless, she can still aim pretty well. Chloe's only eight. Once a donkey is accepted by the donkey sanctuary, it is taken care of for life. A donkey can easily live to be 40 years old. Without care, the hooves just continue to grow, and one day the donkey will no longer be able to walk. 
Unfortunately, it happens often that donkey's hooves are so neglected that the animals have to be euthanized. You can see now the difference. Uh, we, uh, we brought the, both of the legs in, in the correct balance as possible. Uh, is done. We cut the toe and uh, we give a, a good balance on the back legs of Chloe and Chloe will be happy and keep us also happy. <laughs> Finally, the leg is x-rayed again. For a veterinarian, treating donkeys is based primarily on experience because in contrast to equine medicine, there are few medical textbooks, but donkeys are very different to horses. Okay, that's it. Working with donkeys, uh, I noticed that are more eternal persons, eternal, are more uh, stoic, stoic animals. Means that they don't express easily their their pain or they are um, uh, an anxious if they have a severe problem. If a colleague sometimes they can stop eating and not show any any symptoms or rolling down, just uh, lethargic. But the existence of this retirement home for donkeys should not obscure the fact that donkeys in Cyprus will die out if a new use is not found for them. Of course, uh, there is a hope. Uh, people that work with the tourism and the entertainment of tourists when they come into Cyprus, they use the donkeys for writing. And in that um, uh, um, uh, place, uh, we have a breeding of, a don of donkeys. So at least keep a number, and that's, that's a hope. One way to preserve a breed of donkey is by using them for milk production, as happens here in Monte Baduco. Mares are milked daily. In Italy, they have no problem with that, but in contrast, milking donkeys in Portugal is just not done. Production is small-scale and the milk is therefore expensive. It is available in fresh or powdered form. Giuseppe San Davide takes care of the marketing. This is fresh milk, as you can see from the air bubbles. It's still lukewarm. Production is limited because we can only take a litre per day, so that the growth of the foal is not affected. The main advantage of donkey milk is that it's very similar to human milk. Donkey milk is very suitable for people with allergies and sensitive skin, not only as drinking milk, but also for cosmetics, which even Cleopatra used, as legend has it. Foals and adult donkeys, which are neither suitable for breeding or for sale, are brought to the butcher. This is also important for the preservation of a race. Donkey meat is very special. It's very lean, like horse meat, rich in proteins and minerals, with a low cholesterol content. You can cook the meat, but it's also very good for sausages. Mortadella was originally made from donkey meat. But because donkey meat is so lean, 40% pork is now added. The sausages have much less fat than normal ones and are a light product, so to speak. The Monte Baduco donkey farm is a closed system. There is enough land available to provide grazing for 800 donkeys and also for the production of feed. Everything the donkeys eat is grown on the farm. It is strictly organic, with no use of synthetic materials. Barley is used as a supplementary food for the brood mares and for bedding in the barn. The manure is returned to the fields. It is said to be an even better fertilizer than horse manure, so the donkeys are almost self-supporting. Selling animals is also important for preserving the breeds. In Monte Baduco, this is the main business.
Before being sold, the animals are examined by a vet. This donkey is something special because he has a black nose, which is very rare. Donkeys usually have white noses. Black-nosed animals were called smugglers' donkeys because you couldn't see them in the dark. The vet implants an identification chip, which is mandatory for all horses and donkeys in Europe, including Switzerland. The donkeys have a good life here. They are clean, healthy and get along well with each other and with people. I sell a lot of them, also to pass on my passion for donkeys, because many people don't know them. I sell to donkey lovers who take two or three of them, and also to people who deal with the elderly or children. For them, donkeys are the best gift you can give, because donkeys are very adaptive. The more vulnerable a person is, the better the donkey feels. Only a very small percentage go to the butchers, animals that are having problems. The others are all sold to donkey lovers, including breeders. Those who spend time with donkeys can't fail to be captivated by their quiet, charming nature. Donkeys are an asset to people, and every effort should be made to ensure their survival. It would be a great loss if this lovable animal disappeared.